Leslie Van Houten released today after more than 50 years behind bars for her role in the infamous 1969 murders. The 73-year-old now out on parole despite pushback from the victim's families and the state's governor. At just 19, Leslie Van Houten, the youngest follower of Charles Manson, involved in one of Los Angeles' most notorious murders. Now, after more than five decades in prison, officials say Van Houten, at 73 years old, has been released on parole. Her freedom coming after California Governor Gavin Newsom, who'd previously blocked parole efforts, announced on Friday he would not challenge her release in the state Supreme Court. Van Houten, who was born in the Los Angeles suburb of Altadena, was not involved in the August 1969 murders of actress Sharon Tate, the pregnant wife of film director Roman Polanski, and four others. But the very next day, she joined the Manson clan in the brutal killing of wealthy grocery store owner Lino LaBianca and his wife Rosemary in their L.A. home. Van Houten testifying she stabbed Rosemary at least 14 times. Well, I, I hope that it will be a lesson to them that you just can't go into a person's house, you know, and butcher them up. I didn't even use the word mur murder. I said butchered them up. I mean, we have to protect our homes, and I hope that this is the beginning. She was eventually sentenced to life in prison along with the other Manson family followers after California outlawed capital punishment. Van Houten was recommended for parole five different times since 2016, but all of those efforts were rejected by both Governor Newsom and former Governor Jerry Brown. She is the first Manson family member convicted in the Tate-LaBianca murders to be paroled. The rest are either still behind bars or have died, including Charles Manson himself, who died at a California hospital in 2017 while serving a life sentence. We have not yet heard from the victims' families, but in the past, they tried to fight Van Houten's release. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.